I came to preach to somebody who's been limping. I've been behind lately. I don't know what I need to know. I didn't get what I wanted to have. But watch what Paul said. Give me the next verse. I'm the least. I don't deserve it. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. I'm not racing to become something that I'm not called to be. I am what I am. Somebody say, I am what I am. And where I am is where the great I am wanted me to be. So I'm limping, but I'm not late. So I'm not up to your standard, but I'm not living for your approval. Because I'm not created by your hand. Because my days aren't ordained in your book. High five somebody, say I'm right on time. I'm right on time. Because watch this, the light is coming. 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 I've been depressed, but the light is coming. I've been down, having trouble figuring it out, but the light is coming. I've been unsure, down on myself, drowning in insecurity, but the light is coming. The light is coming. The light is coming. The joy is coming. A new day is dawning. I'm waking up to what I always was. I am what I am. By the grace of God, and the grace that brought me safe thus far will lead me home. If I gotta get there limping, if I gotta get there a little behind, if I gotta get there Tuesday, if I gotta push it back to Wednesday, if I gotta make up for it at the end of 2023, I shall do it. And the Lord said, it's no coincidence that I'm preaching this on Daylight Savings Time Sunday. Because something happened this morning when you woke up. You had an extra hour you didn't know you have. God said, I'm going to give you time. I'm going to restore the years. You're going to have time to do it. Whoever is for is hidden deep right now. And I don't want this shout to get in the way of you receiving this ministry because it is a terrible thing to watch everybody else go ahead of you and feel like you're limping, to watch everybody else be happy and feel like there's some demon in you that won't let you enjoy life, to watch everybody else move up in their career and to feel like you keep moving backwards, staying plateaued. Every time you get a little momentum, you get a little setback, you're limping. But the grace of God came to Paul. The grace of God came to Jacob. The light of God is dawning in your life to let you know. You're not late. In order for you to be late, there would have had to be something that God did not account for that happened in your life. And if something happened in your life that God didn't account for, then he's not God. So the fact that God started it means that he knows where it's supposed to be right now. It means that when God called you, he accounted for traffic. I'm so tired of watching people beat themselves up over comparison that has nothing to do with their calling. Asking little four-year-olds, what college are you applying to? We've gone absolutely crazy in this culture. And I want to say to you that the spirit that gets on you that has you subjecting yourself to a standard that has nothing to do with the spirit of God, it has to let you go right now in the name of Jesus. You put your Christmas lights up in February for all I care. I'm not late. I abide in Christ. 
And since I abide in him, that means that everything in his season that's supposed to come forth is coming up. Somebody shout, it's coming up. Say, I abide in Christ, and everything in my life is coming up. It's coming up. Say it again. I abide in Christ, and everything in my life is coming up lovely, in abundance, at just the right time. I dare you to give God a praise for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The light's coming, man. I know it's been a dark night. You've been wrestling alone. You've been feeling behind your whole life, but the light is coming. Limp into it. I said, Lord, what do you want me to tell them about this message that they can never forget? He said to tell them, limp into it. Limp into it. Because one thing I love about Jacob, he might have been limping, but he didn't lay down. And that's how you accomplish it. And that's how you make it. And that's how you grow. And that's how you know who God is. You limp into it. The beauty of today's limp is that it becomes tomorrow's lean. Follow me real quick. Y'all got like three minutes for me to finish this message? It'd be weird if I preached a message called, You're Not Late, and you told me to hurry up and finish my message. It'd be kind of ironic. Because I was reading about, um, I was reading about the end of Jacob's life. Yeah, minister LJ, that'd be good. He, uh, he lived 50 more years after this wrestling match. So guess what? Esau didn't kill him. Esau didn't kill him. He had to limp to Esau. In Genesis 33, verse 4, the Bible says that he made his way toward Esau. Remember, he's limping. And as Esau's coming toward him, the Bible says, verse 4, Genesis 33, verse 4, I got to show you this. It says that Esau ran to meet Jacob. And the beauty of that is that Jacob couldn't run to it, so it ran to him. Did you hear what I just said to you? Because you've been thinking, well, if I would have had this opportunity sooner, I could have done it, but I can't now because look where I am now. No, no, no. You limp to it, and God will make it run to you. In fact, When the writer of Hebrews, many centuries later, remember, it's progressive revelation. We don't even know at this point in the story that Jacob and Esau are going to go. You don't even know at this point in the story that this is the nation of Israel that Jacob is carrying with them. We don't know any of that yet, and you don't know any of that yet, but it's all on God's schedule of revelation. So that at the end of Jacob's life, this is what the author of Hebrews said about in verse 20, that by faith, Hebrews 11, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. Now watch this, and this is how I want you to leave today. Verse 21. By faith, Jacob, when he was dying, 50 years after he wrestled with God, when he was dying, blessed each of the sons of Joseph and worshiped, leaning on the top of his staff. So what it means to me is that my limping today will teach me to lean tomorrow. The greatest blessing of Jacob's life happened not as he was running, grabbing, but as he was leaning. So the Lord said, limp into it. But make sure that what you're leaning on 
can hold you as you do. Because for what you're going through, you can't lean on the addiction. It won't hold you. For what you're going through right now, you can't lean on your own understanding. It can't direct you. For what you're going through right now, you certainly cannot lean on what other people are saying that you should do because they don't know either. They are just as lost as you, and they don't have the light. So today, if you've been limping and yet you, you see some light coming through, I want you to stand up because I want to pray for you in this moment and in this season of your life that you would not lie down and die in the light, but that you would live to see the scheduled revelation of who God has created you to be and what he's called you to do. Father, in Jesus' name, I take a page from Hebrews chapter 11, and I bless your people by faith. For some of the things that we're going forward into, nothing but faith will get us there. Nothing but faith will carry us forward. Specifically, now I want to pray for someone who has been limping and thought that it made them less. And maybe the light that you want to give them today is the knowledge that you've still got them right where you want them. And even just that would be enough to keep them going forward. Our eyes are on you, Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. We fix our eyes not on things that are seen, but things that are unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Thank you for the light. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the gospel of your son, Jesus. Thank you that we don't wander like those in darkness, hopeless. Thank you that you have not left us in our ignorance, but you have given us the light of the revelation. And this in the face of Christ, the glory of God. We have seen you face to face, and yet we did not die. We call this place Peniel. And we thank you for the light of the gospel flooding in. We thank you for new beginnings today. Hey, thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. I hope you were blessed today. If you were, share this with somebody. Like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Let me know where you're watching from, what we can pray for you about. Hope to see you back here again really soon.